Well, the search continues tonight for the man spotted on Jackson State University's campus carrying an automatic weapon. Now, some students say they hope this serves as a wake-up call for campus officials to make their safety more of a priority. Three New Sides' Brendan Hall joins us live near campus with new information tonight. Brendan? Jackson State University's campus seems to be without the buzz and energy it typically possesses on an ordinary day. As law enforcement on the state, county, city and campus levels continue to patrol campus with their lights flashing as they've done for most of the day. Despite the heavy police presence, we're told that the shelter in place order has been lifted for students. I came to the library to get some work done. I actually had a meeting for my internship and then I hear it's a shooter in the library, outside the library. I get on the ground, turn the lights off, so like the shooter can't find me or something. Like I don't even know what's going on. It's a crazy situation, you know. I don't think he should have been doing that at all. I mean, hopefully they find him though, you know, and handle it the right way. The feeling on Jackson State University's campus Monday was unsettling after students received a shelter in place order due to an unidentified man who was seen walking near the College of Liberal Arts with an assault rifle. JSU junior Mitchell Cook says he's not only frightened but also upset because he feels campus safety has been an issue for some time now. It seems like administration doesn't care about the, health, the safety of their students. It's all about the sports, the basketball, the football, but when it comes to day to day students living their life, it's unsafe and it's really unacceptable for this problem to be here for this long. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. In October, student Jalen Burns was killed in an on-campus shooting at the University Point apartment complex. And less than a year before that, another student lost his life in an on-campus shooting. A shooting that is now at the center of a wrongful death lawsuit against the university. Some professors are still trying to have class and stuff like, what are we talking about class? We got a dude out here with a, with a rifle and they, they want to have class. Like, it's just, everything is backwards and I don't understand it. And a real change needs to happen with administration. Like, if I was a freshman, I'll transfer. Honestly, sharing in the concerns of students is Jackson's police chief. My kids are here. My son's a senior. My daughter's in grad school here. So when I hear stuff like that, I'm concerned not only as the police chief, but as a parent here in the city of Jackson. I asked Jackson Police Chief Joseph Wade how Mississippi's open carry law plays into this situation. He says it'd be one thing if the man was walking around with a gun on a Jackson street, but carrying one on campus is against the law. He also says authorities just want to ask him if he's even allowed to have a firearm to begin with. Reporting live near JSU's campus, I'm Brendan Hall, three on your side.